Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Curtis at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm missing you and others in person at the ACR Convergence meeting that's now being held virtual, but I did want to share something with you that caught my eye. It's late breaking abstract L08. It's the results of the FAST trial that compared the cardiovascular safety of febuxostat versus allopurinol for the treatment of gout. As you're probably well aware, the CARES safety trial reported in 2018 in the New England Journal that the cardiovascular safety of febuxostat for its primary outcome was non-inferior to allopurinol. That's the good news. The somewhat concerning news was that two key secondary outcomes that were pre-specified, cardiovascular mortality, as well as all-cause mortality, had a 34% and a 22% respectively significant increase compared to allopurinol. The other methods issue that was also a, a cause for concern was is that the dropout rate in the CARES trial was very, very high. It was close to 50%, which for a safety trial, some might consider rather unacceptable. So that's where things stood until the late breaker reported today. Today, we, we learned the results of the FAST trial, a pretty equally sized trial of more than 6,000 individuals, and the trial was enriched for those with cardiovascular risk factors. Median follow-up was approximately four years, much like the CARES trial. The event rates were approximately two per 100 patient years, and the FAST trial reported that febuxostat cardiovascular event rates were numerically lower and statistically non-inferior compared to allopurinol. This is quite a contrast with the prior CARES trial. The study was conducted in the UK and other parts of Europe, and was conducted under the aegis of the University of Dundee. It was pharmaceutical funded, but according to the authors, the pharmaceutical company that was the sponsor didn't have direct involvement in the conduct or the execution of the trial, which might give some people additional reassurance about the rigor and the independence of the investigators that ran the trial. So bottom line, I think we have a new trial, very large, and was randomized, controlled, open label with regard to treatment, but blinded with respect to endpoint assessment, which I think is quite consistent with the notion of a large pragmatic trial that I think gives us a very different answer than what we've had heretofore. Namely, febuxostat is probably on equal cardiovascular footing from a safety perspective, compared to allopurinol, and I think that gives me and probably most clinicians much more reassurance that we haven't had up to, up to this point that febuxostat won't put people in harm's way with respect to the safety profile and is a very reasonable treatment option for gout, not just to control their gout, but also from a safety perspective, it doesn't have an adverse event profile that's any worse than allopurinol. Thanks for your interest.